Automation is a great tool to help you build an efficient communication system with your subscribers. This tool will save you a lot of time when running email marketing campaigns. Instead of sending one email at a time, you can plan a month's worth of newsletters or more, and you can customize, modify, and edit the automation flows at any time. To build an automation workflow, you'll need to create a sequence of steps that will be processed as soon as a subscriber triggers the, the workflow. For example, if you want to send a welcome email, then a product promotion email, and then announce an upcoming event, you'll first need to build these newsletters, make sure you schedule a delay between each one of the emails, and then let the magic happen on its own. To create an automation flow, click on the Automation tab and then click on New Automation. Here we're going to give the automation a name. I'll call mine Travel Agency. Then I'll select the trigger, which will be activated by the subscriber. For this tutorial, I'll choose when a subscriber joins a group. Then I'll choose the group. And I'll check this box to repeat this workflow for subscribers who rejoin the same group. So now when a subscriber joins the group Travelers, I'll immediately send them the first email. Give the email a name. I'll name mine Passionate About Traveling. Who is this from? The sender email will automatically be filled with your account information, but you can edit this if you need to. Now, before I start designing the email, if your website is connected to Google Analytics, make sure to check this box. If not, don't worry about it. I will definitely check the track open emails box so I can collect information about my subscribers engagement. And don't forget to set the language of your newsletter. I'll keep mine set to English. Now click on design email and here you'll need to choose if you want to use one of your templates. Start from scratch using the drag and drop rich text or HTML editors. Or you could also use the MailerLite template gallery and modify it to your needs. Or what I'm going to do in this tutorial, I'm going to use one of my recent emails. In the automation category, I saved four emails for this automation flow, and I'll choose the first one named passionate about traveling. So we're in the drag and drop editor in case I need to edit the email, but I don't. So I'll just click on done editing and we're back at the automation flow screen. So now to summarize this flow so far, when a subscriber joins the travelers group, they will immediately receive this email. Following that, I'll add a delay of three days. Now adding a delay means that the system will queue the subscriber for X amount of time until the next step. So the subscriber has enough time to open the email and then you can analyze how engaged they truly are with your content. Click save and let's schedule a second email. So again, click on the plus sign, choose email, and I'll follow the same exact steps as before. So now we have two emails that are sent three days apart. Let's add a seven days delay. And then add a condition. Click the plus sign, choose condition, and let's define it. Here you can add up to five rules and choose if you want this condition to comply with all the rules or any of the rules. I'll choose any. And I'd like to apply this to my workflow activity, the second email I sent, and now let's choose the condition. In this case, I'm going to choose was not open. You can add more conditions, but right now I'll just save and go back to the flow to define the result of this rule. So if the email was open, I'll send another email. If it wasn't open, I'll add an action. To define the action, click on it and then choose an action. Here I'm going to choose move to group. Choose which group you would like to move this subscriber to. You could also copy to a group and the difference is that when you move to a group, the subscriber will no longer be in the original group. But when copying a subscriber to a group, it means that they will be in both groups. Click save. So now let's add a few more steps to the sequence. Let's add another seven day delay. If the third email wasn't open, I'll add the subscribers to another group and then send another email to those who opened it. Your automation flow can contain up to a hundred steps. If you require additional steps, you will need to create another workflow and link the last step of the original workflow to the trigger of the second workflow.
Now, when you're done designing your workflow, don't forget to turn it on and you're good to go. Thanks for watching. Make sure to click the bell button below so you don't miss any new tutorials. You can also find us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and subscribe to our newsletter. The link is in the description section below. Have an awesome day or night, and I'll see you in the next video.